Oh yeah, I'll be wearing a shoe. <laughs> Dear 15 year olds. What's up guys, it's India and today's video is gonna be kind of different. I wanted to do a video basically listing 15 things that I learnt at the age of 15. I've been wanting to do this video actually ever since I turned 16. Uh, I don't really know why I put it off. But you know, I'm finally getting around to it. Better late than never. And I understand that the majority of my viewers are between the ages of like 13 and 17, mostly girls. So this advice could really apply to any of you. I hope you enjoy and let's go ladies. Number one, stop caring about what people think of you. Uh, this kind of rubbed off on me at the age of 14 as well, but fully at the age of 15. And I went through phases of being like, I don't care what anyone thinks of me. And then I went through phases after meeting different friendship groups and, and experiencing new things where I did think of everything that people were thinking of me and I've just realized not to care and at first it can be really difficult it's like okay but like how there were so many times where I didn't want to like do certain things or wear certain things because I thought people would judge me for it for example I've always loved fashion but I've always felt like um scared to like wear certain things because you know when you go out into town, I mean, this is like in England, I see it a lot, not really as much in LA, everyone in LA is very, very diverse, but in England, you go out to town and you see everyone wearing like the same thing, like Joni jeans from Topshop, trainers and like a crop top and a jacket and I know, like, and if that's your style and if you like to wear that, go for it, but at the same time, if that's not, don't just go and dress like that just because you care about what people are gonna say if you wear something else. Life gets so much better once you stop caring what people think of you. Plus, if you're deep in it really, it's not actually that big of a deal. Like, people aren't gonna be like, up at night thinking, oh my God, like, I can't believe that person did that. Like, it's not that, it doesn't affect their life that much. They're not gonna care that much. They could make a couple comments and then move on and, but also just don't let those comments affect you. Another example would be YouTube. Um, I know for a really long time, because I wanted to start YouTube since I was very, very young. Like, I remember being eight years old, looking in my, like, mirror and being like, Hello, everyone! Because I didn't know how to film and edit, but, like, so I would pretend to film videos in front of my mirror instead and, like, do my makeup and play with my mom's makeup. I wanted to do YouTube a lot sooner before I started, even though I started, like, 13. Um, but that was just because I was too scared. And honestly, even starting at 13, I was still very afraid. And honestly, like the only thing that really gave me the confidence to do it was the fact that I was homeschooled and I knew I wouldn't have to face people at school every day. But even if you are at school, stop caring about what people think of you. It's a lot easier said than done, but once you do it, I promise you, you will be living your happiest, best life. Number two, teenagers can be really mean. I learned this, I'm pretty sure you guys already know this. I used to have so much anxiety going out by myself, like around town or something, like in case I saw like other teenagers that are in groups of girls or whatever, like the stares they give you, how judgmental they are. Teenagers can be mean. Honestly, what I wanna say to you, if you're a teenager, just don't add to it. Don't be mean, don't be that bitch. Like when you see someone by themselves or even in another group of girls, like don't give them the death stare, the bitch face like smile number three this isn't really advice this is like just one of those things that i learned at 15 and that is that i can't eat like i used to before i hit puberty i used to eat like so much i mean i still kind of actually do so you know but like i can't get away with it as much as i used to like when i was growing up i used to be like tiny 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 people would look at me and think does that girl eat um, but i did like i ate so much and then after I hit puberty, I continued to eat like that and realized that, yeah, that can't really happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, this isn't anything for you to take from it. This is literally just me saying, stating one of the things that I've learned at 15. Like, I can't eat like I used to. I have to be a bit more cautious and healthy. No, actually, growing up, I've always been healthy. I just ate loads. Like, my mom and I were out to dinner yesterday, she was like, you've always loved food and I was like yeah and she was like no like seriously like even like when I bump into Susie like, the name of my primary school's best friend's mom she'd still ask my mom like oh does India still eat loads like she always has like in primary school all my best friend's parents used to love me because when like my friends were like really fussy and wouldn't eat what their parents had given them like I'd be asking for seconds yeah I've learned that I can't really eat like I used to I mean I can but I can't eat like I used to and look like I used to Number four, when someone tells you they love you, you're gonna believe them. 
Mm. People can lie and it doesn't phase them. I don't get it. I, I, I couldn't, like, for me personally, I could never tell someone I love them and not mean it. Like, if anything, I'll take it too far. Like, if anything, like, even if I do love someone, I still won't tell them. <laughs> like, I'm like that. Number five, listen to your parents' advice. Almost every single time my parents have given me advice and whether I followed it or not, it has been true. So as much as I hate to say this, my mom's gonna be watching this video like, ha ha, told you. And I'm just gonna be like, oh, shut up. But like, no, seriously, like almost every single time they give you advice, usually it's true. Not everyone has to learn from their own mistakes, but wise people usually learn from other people's mistakes. When your parent gives you advice, listen take it into the consideration genuinely like use that advice don't just like let it like gum one ear and out the other like actually listen to it and apply that to your life because you will get yourself out of a lot more like unwanted situations number six you don't have to wear something revealing to be hot what i mean by this is i used to feel like when i was like 14 15 that like oh like i want people to think i'm pretty i want people to think i'm Hot. I want people to think I'm good looking like you know you're like around the age that you care about your appearance and you care about what people think of you no matter even though like yo yeah, you shouldn't but like you do it's normal it's like natural like everyone does and I used to think that like oh if I wear this because it's like revealing like then you know you know, I didn't really have anything to reveal but like and like yeah I still do sometimes wear revealing things like this doesn't mean like don't wear anything revealing like looking hot isn't about how much skin you show also if you're 15 you shouldn't even have to be really wearing stuff like that I mean you do you as long as your parents are okay with it then that's okay like have you seen some of the things I wear but like not everything is about looks I'm gonna say that but like when I want to feel confident and I want to like feel like I look good I don't go and think okay well what's the most revealing thing I can wear I'll just pick out an outfit. If it's revealing, it's revealing. If it's not, it's not. That's fine. But I like to focus more on my face. I'm not saying you need a bunch of makeup or you need all this stuff, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, I like to focus on putting more effort into my face. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's what I learned. Number seven is don't tell everyone your business. This was something I very much struggled with and I still do at times. I could meet someone new and they'd know my entire life story and my life goals within half an hour of having a conversation with them. I realized that it's better to keep a lot of things to yourself. I'm not saying like fully, like obviously when you have problems, tell people, not anyone, not strangers, have people that you trust and go to the people that you trust. So whether that's a best friend, a parent, sister, cousin, whoever you feel comfortable with, go to them for your problems, but don't go to the whole world and strangers for them. Because that's one thing of me is I used to overshare my whole life and I learned that like the hard way. People are snakes and anyone will snake you. No one owes you anything. That's another thing I learned. No one owes you anything. Don't let everyone know your business. Don't be crying on Snapchat, being like crying emoji. No one pop up, don't talk to me. Don't be that person. People make fun of that person. Understand your worth and cut out anyone that treats you less than you deserve. This is something I learned at 15 and something that I still struggle with to this day. Um, I still get myself into situations where people aren't treating me as they should and I don't know, like honestly I used to be so much better at this actually at 15, like at 15 I was better at this. I had a whole video on cutting toxic people out of your life. I think the reason why right now I'm not as good as I used to be at this is because right now I'm in LA and I honestly, the only person I really have is my sister. Yeah. The only person I really honestly truly have is my sister and I don't have my mum, I don't have my best friend Liv like, like I used to and I, because I don't have that like cushion that I had before where like I know if anything goes wrong in my life like I can just go to them and cut those people off like I can just cut you off it's fine I have live and that's all I need right now I'm not in a situation where I'm kind of like that so I feel like I'm a bit more vulnerable to situations like that right now honestly I'd rather be lonely with no toxic relationships than in a toxic relationship whether that's a friendship a boyfriend and just having company like i don't like that yeah cutting people out of your life if they're not treating you how you should be is a lot better than staying just because you're afraid of being alone just trust me there are millions billions there's billions of people on this earth you i promise you you will find someone else to 
to hang out with and to make relationships with. You do not need that one person that's treating you like trash just because whatever. And as I said, like I'm still struggling with listening to my own advice at times, but the second you do, you're gonna be a lot happier. Number nine, boys are rats. Just, that's it, boys are rats. Number 10, don't waste your time on anyone. Your time is very precious, your time is money, your time is value, your time is everything, because your time is something that you will never get back, ever. Do not waste your time arguing with people that don't probably care about you. Do not waste your time stressing and worrying about over people that don't care about you. Don't waste your time on people that aren't adding to your life in a positive way. Or even if they're taking from your life in a negative way, don't give your time to those people. 11, one or two friends is better than a group. Um, I've learned this because I've had one or two friends and I've also tried having a group. When I was in England, I had about one or two friends um, live in Zena and then I was just like, you know what? I wanna start going out, making more friends, being more social. And so I started doing that and it didn't really end so good. Like at first, obviously it was, I had a lot of fun. I was like enjoying myself and going out more, but in the end, people snaked me, people were fake, and honestly, same over here, really, too. I first made friends with people, like, they were all great people to hang out with, and I had so much fun. And now I've kind of distanced myself from a few people, like, I've ha I have a smaller group than I did when I first moved here um, and made friends, because, as people say, it's true, people in LA are fake. You will come across many situations of, like, fake people. But that's not even just in LA, that's everywhere in the world. Now I just have like a couple friends that I kind of hang around with over here and I'm a lot more happy and life's a lot more healthy for me. Yes, you can always go out and make new friends, that's fine, that's great. But be careful whilst doing it and don't ever feel like you need loads of friends to be cool or to be popular or to like be happy. Like you do not need loads of friends. You just need the few friends that will have your back and that's it. Number 12. The first step to becoming or even looking more confident is to stop appearing so insecure. If you're going around telling people your insecurities, if you're going around being like, oh my god, I look so ugly today. Oh, I feel this, I feel that. Obviously, it's normal. Everyone has ugly days. I've had days where I'm like, oh, wow, I look like a mess. But that doesn't mean I think I'm ugly. The best way to get confidence is by faking it. Fake it till you make it with confidence is honestly the biggest thing that genuinely does work. I promise you. Um, I used to be very insecure and then I faked being confident. Um, honestly, a little bit too much. People probably thought I was very vain. <laughs> People probably still do. Um, it's kind of also a mix of sarcasm too. But basically just stop oversharing your insecurities. Stop telling everyone what you're insecure about. Stop showing that you're insecure and you will automatically look and also feel so much more confident. If all you're doing is pointing out your flaws and your insecurities, that's what people are gonna see you at. If I tell you, don't think of a purple draft, all you can think of right now is a purple draft. Just like if I tell you, oh, don't look at the fact that I've got a cut on my lip right here. You're gonna see it. You probably didn't see it very much before, but you're gonna kind of see it now. Maybe you weren't even paying attention to it before and maybe now you can. People aren't gonna see your insecurities until you point them out. Number 13, don't let people pressure you. Whether it's to do with drugs, alcohol, sex, anything, don't let people pressure you. Set standards for yourself so that you can't be pressured because if you haven't already told yourself, I'm not gonna do this until the age of this or I don't wanna do this at all or I don't wanna do or I'll do this but I won't do this. If you haven't set those boundaries and those like standards for yourself into place, right, when people are like, oh, come on, just do it, just do it, do it, you're just gonna be thinking, uh, well, I never said I shouldn't, so okay. And then afterwards end up regretting it. So set yourself standards and set yourself boundaries and say to yourself like, okay, I'll allow myself to have my first kiss, but I'm not gonna allow myself to have sex. I'll allow myself to drink, let's say like, cider but not harsh liquor like vodka just an example of what let's say one boundary which i've set into place for myself is i allow myself to drink but i don't allow myself to smoke everyone's different some people don't want to drink and smoke and sex at all nothing just good go for it some people want to do all that that's fine go for it well it's not fine but like you know you do you my point is know what you want to do know what you'll allow yourself to do and don't let people pressure you because people will always tug on that. You are, let's say this is you, people are always gonna try and like tug on you and this is such a weird thing, <laughs> what are we doing? But people are always gonna try and tug on you and be like, come on, just like do it, do it. And then all of a sudden you're just gonna snap and be like, okay, sure. And 
once you've snapped you can't go back like you can't like once this is broken like I can't put it back together You can never go back to how it was before and so you've got to be careful with what you allow yourself to do So I've never smoked not looking down on anyone that has I personally don't like it I think it's gross. I don't have any interest in it People have tried pressuring me before and I just say no number 14 Smelling good should be your number one priority when it comes to physical appearance when I was 15 I learned that and I just it's always stuck with me like make sure you smell good also have good hygiene brush your teeth twice a day at least shower every day wear deodorant wear perfume for me one of the things that's actually more important than looks is how someone smells and if they smell bad like if they smell bad like you could be so good looking but if you smell bad that is just the biggest turn off and honestly you could be pretty average and if you smell good i'm gonna be like uh and lastly, number 15 is don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something just because you're 15. I mean, this goes in a lot of different ways. Like, obviously, if it's against the law, like, maybe listen then. But if it's, like, a goal that you have to achieve, stick to it and don't let people tell you that you can't do something just because of your age. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some sort of, like, advice or just was interesting to watch. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what other videos you want to see from me. Make sure you subscribe. I love you all so much. Bye guys. Oh, by the way, shameless self-promo. Go follow me on Instagram, India Grace Household.